truly leaving the district in a stronger place than it was uh, when you arrived. There's so many things that we can say about you, but the thing that is, comes to the most is you're all about kids. Thank you for that. Thank you for that from, from everybody. That's that's so important to us as, um, as a community and, and as a board. Thank you, Commissioner Eric, about our kids. There's only a handful of people that get to see what you do behind the scenes, and uh, the thing that stands out most to me is uh, how committed and dedicated you are to the district and to our kids, as Brett said. Uh, and how much you carry on your shoulders the weight of every decision that happens in the district, whether it was you or somebody else's. Um, Carrie will go to bat for anybody. You've been a great superintendent. Uh, you care about kids. And what they said, when people say, um, you put kids first, you always did. There's so many great things going on. And I just thank you from the bottom of my heart as a parent, as a board member, as a community member, for all of, for your part in all of that. Thank you for your leadership. On behalf of the DGA, I want to say thank you um, for your hard work. Um, you are an incredibly hard worker. The Dr. Premis Goli and the DGA have had disagreements at times. Um, and like any relationship, we've done our best to work through those. Um, but I have no doubt that you have done what you felt was best for our kids, for our district, for our community uh, throughout your, your dealings here. Um, and uh, wish you all the best of luck in, in your future endeavors. Thank you. Carrie always dedicated time, whether it was on a formal calendar or schedule, um, or whether it was just when we needed to kind of put her on call to ask a question. Hey, people in the PTAs are wondering, dot, dot, dot. Um, we were never wasting her time. She was always willing to spend it with us to hear what the PTA had to say, take that information, digest it, and uh, hopefully use that to fuel some of the work that was being done on the back end. I think one of the, the greatest legacies is um, the, the administration and staff that you have hired to lead our district. Um, I Right now I feel like this is one of the strongest um, groups we've had. Uh, I think it's very impressive that you continually look to build consensus, even with uh, ideas that probably are completely opposite of yours or nowhere near yours, but you always take the high road. Always. You know, we're standing up here and we're looking at the the outcome of the strategic plan. And, and I know as we went through elections, a lot of the things we heard about was how wonderful it is that we have set the direction and we know where we're going. And and I don't think you've got enough credit for the fact that it would have been easier as a superintendent to kind of ride out the last strategic plan. And instead, what you did was really bring to our attention and push that process and, and push us to become a better district. Really, truly put your your heart and soul and everything, not just inside the district, but you know, it really means a lot that you've made down this road from your home. Every professional capacity I've shared on my volunteer end, but to your professional capacity, has been full of integrity, full of love for our children. You will be missed. My privilege and my honor to serve here in District 58. Um, and I'm really proud of the work that we've accomplished together. I am exceptionally proud of our teachers. I think we have the best teachers ever have. Uh, they work tirelessly for our students, for each other, for their administrators, and they truly are our biggest asset here in District 58. We also are very blessed to 